Thank you and welcome to Healthy Kidney Inc., my channel here on YouTube where we talk about good things to help you support good kidney health. In today's video, I'm going to go through a variety of a bunch of studies, things that I've recently uh, pulled off from databases, and to go over what they said, okay, go over the title, the journal, and what the outcome was and what they said. And all these things are things that you can implement into your lifestyle. So let's get into it. Uh, this is from the Clinical Nutrition ESPEN Journal, the Clinical Nutrition ESPEN Journal, April 2022. The differential effect of animal versus vegetable dietary protein on the clinical manifestations of diabetic kidney disease in humans. So what they talk about here is how animal protein is much worse for people with diabetic nephropathy and that most of the time their doctors never tell them um, and that's just due to a variety of reasons. They don't discuss too much why. They just, um, what they're saying is that people don't know, okay, their physicians aren't telling them, and it's better to have some plant-based proteins based on the newest recommendations, which we know are much better for the kidney. Plant-based proteins cause much uh, less hypofiltration, less toxins. So those plant-based proteins that you want to incorporate it's going to be your soy products. Okay, you got your tofu, tempeh, edamame beans. When you look at the research in soy, it's basically almost a superfood, or it could be considered a superfood for kidney issues, kidney diseases. So your nuts, your seeds, your soy, uh, your lentils. You can have some quinoa, other whole grains. We'll have some little higher amounts of protein if you're not restricting phosphorus. So those are your main plant-based sources. You could use a protein powder that's plant-based, but that's better than an animal-based protein powder, but you'd rather eat the food because uh, that concentration of protein isn't as good for you as eating a plant-based source. All right, so that's uh, you know, one of our studies here. Okay, we have, um, this is from the Kidney International Reports in 2022. I have a little trouble finding the date, but you can find it by the title. Coffee consumption may mitigate the risk for acute kidney injury. Results from the arterial sclerosis risk in community study. So a little coffee with kidney disease shows beneficial. Here it showed it helped reduce uh, acute kidney disease, which is a fast very fast form of kidney disease, usually from an infection, medical procedure, could be a variety of other things, and how some coffee helped that. And I talk about coffee in other study, studies here on our channel. Uh, years ago, years, years ago, we thought kidney was bad and we told everybody to avoid it. With research, a lot of research in time, we know having one to two cups provides a little bit of benefit with people with kidney issues, but you want to try to avoid all the sugar all the creams, all the artificial sweeteners. All right, and stick to mainly that cup of coffee. All right, so we have the Journal of Renal Nutrition, April 2022, and this is like the journal, uh, one of the leading ones for kidney disease and nutrition. So currently available handouts for low phosphorus diets and chronic kidney disease continue to restrict plant proteins and minimally processed dairy products. So what they're talking about is that how most doctors are still giving out old recommendations. We don't worry about plant proteins anymore. We know that they're exceptionally good for the kidney. Uh, minimally processed dairy, we know that small amounts of dairy may be okay, uh, but generally with kidney disease, you want to avoid that. All right. Um, so that's just some information from here. Journal of Toxins, May 2022, the role of dietary fiber and gut microbiome modulation and progression of chronic kidney disease. So they're just summarizing evidence here on how important fiber is okay, in the diet of someone with kidney disease because your gut, a lot of those kidney toxins, that's where they end up and that's where they're also created. Okay, so you wanna have a good gut health through having lots of fiber, probiotics, prebiotics, okay? Prebiotics can also be a uh, supplemental fiber. Really important for the kidneys. We talk so much about it, and this is becoming a recurring theme that's constantly being published in the research over and over and over and over. So anything that I'm talking about here, we have um, more videos on our website, um, more videos on our channel, just getting more into length of each of these. Okay, so comparative study to evaluate the effect of a low-protein diet supplementation with taurine and N-acetylcysteine 
Uh, then a low protein diet with N acetylcysteine and pyridoxamine dehydrochloride and preventing the progression of chronic renal failure in patients with non diabetic kidney disease. Comparative study to evaluate effective low protein diets. Uh, that's from the Journal of the Association of Physicians in India, May 2022. Low protein diet, okay, they recommend here was very helpful with kidney disease. And they gave some supplements along with it. N acetylcysteine or N acetylcysteine. We have a whole video on our website also on our channel here that talks about how good that is for you with kidney issues, how it could be beneficial. What they found here is that people who took the NAC with the pyridoxamine dehydrochloride got the best benefits and improvement. Unfortunately, in the United States, pyridoxamine hydrochloride is no longer available. It's a form of B6. Uh, it's not available here in the U.S. anymore. You can get it in other countries. But regardless, a low-protein diet, if you decide you want to try that, take an N-acetylcysteine, cysteine, NAC can really help. And we have another video about that. All right, that looks like that's it for today. Thanks for watching. A couple of good things that you can implement into your life to help your kidney issues. And make sure to look at all our other videos we have. Like, subscribe, comment, and do your best kidney health, everyone.